Hey everybody, what's up? This is a video response to Felix. Uh, I forget his screen name. X FX3 something something something. I'll put the link over here. Uh, the title of his video was Interaction, and the question he posed was, are all the various types of interaction we have on the web evolution or addiction? Uh, he listed all of the different ways people can contact him online uh, or that he interacts online and I made a list of mine uh, I have YouTube MySpace Facebook Yahoo I am Skype Stickham Gmail uh, iChat ISPQ I just recently signed up for blog TV and Ustream um, I also have I text message a lot of my friends with my cell phone you know you talk on the phone We've done things through snail mail. We've read each other's blogs. Uh, we've seen each other's discussion boards or forums that we're on, as well as various Flickr accounts and Twitter. Uh, these are all ways to contact me. Um, and is that too much? I don't think so. Um, I think it can be. I think many of us are in danger of completely getting sucked in to the internet um, I've done it myself but I wonder if it's any different than getting sucked into the TV like people always used to do I, I go weeks now on end without having my TV on and to me interacting with people you know communicating laughing thinking um, becoming friends with people that's something very new to me. I know a lot of people have been doing chat rooms or forums or whatever for many years, for you know a decade and a half or something. But for me, it's you know relatively new within the past five to eight years, really. Um, and it's been a very profound thing. As my busy street again. Um, as as I get more inner with these sites as the friendships move into real life the lines are blurred I, I've been noticing lately a ton of people on Twitter have found me it is it's as if Twitter has grown exponentially for me in the past month I've been on that site for maybe since January or February and now just lately it seems like everybody's on there and there's a bunch of Twitter addicts lately uh, Stickham suddenly is like my failsafe on the weekends. If I don't have plans, if I just want to chill out and relax, you hang out in a room in Stickham. I like opening up my own room with music sometimes or whatever. I use email. I email my friends all the time. Um, and then there's these videos to get messages out, to have fun, to interact, to f push ourselves in new, new ways creatively. Um, it's pretty profound. I think for me it's been a very enriching thing in my life. Uh, this reminds me of the story that hit the AP, I think it was yesterday, that they figure the world's oldest vlogger died. They figure she was 108 years old. Uh, I forget the woman's name. I think Olive, Olivia, something like that. She was 108. She was born in 1899. She's seen two world wars, um, I mean, she's seen a full century. Um, and she was vlogging up until a month ago from the old folks' home, from the retirement home. And she was blown away by meeting people on an international basis, meeting people. She's from Australia, and she met people from the States, from Russia, um, just chatting, but getting to know them. And for me, I've always said the international aspect of this is what's really cool um, on this site. Uh, I'm excited to, to meet so many people in Toronto um, in less than a month now, but to meet people in Nashville in a couple months. Um, I actually have a one-on-one -on -one meetup with Michael from Russia. We're just gonna hang out for a few hours in a few weeks from uh, Spielberg SP, I think is his screen name. And these are all things that enrich my life. And there's ways now, I've got continents upon continents of people that I could visit and travel 
to, to see. So to me, it's been very enriching. Now, I do think some of us are in danger of needing to unplug. We get pulled into the pettiness of it sometimes, the drama side of it sometimes, um, stuff that really doesn't matter to the outside world. And we've all seen it. We've all seen one drama after another, and, and I hate it, and I won't take part in it publicly um, because I just think there's so much more to do to spend our time with, you know, to to enrich our lives and to be positive and constructive and creative. And it's very exciting to me that I've talked about this before, the collaborative efforts and the collaborative spirit that's alive on an international basis. Um, so for me, I love the positive side of this, of getting to know people, of making friends, of pushing myself as an artist, and pushing my social calendar and my social life to an international basis that's kind of always here. And what it's done for me is it's taken that mind-numbing TV watching and turned that spare time into something very constructive to me. You know, putting myself out here, making these videos, documenting my life, I consider a very constructive thing. Even if it's something as silly as singing a Billy Joel song or making a movie about toys, uh, it pushes me creatively and it gives me a way to, to expand myself creatively. And as an artist, it's very important. I mean, that's like oxygen to me, um, is spreading those creative wings. So to do it in a social environment like YouTube, Twitter, Stickham, etc. Um, it's pretty cool. But isn't it addiction? Oh yeah. I mean the, the constant availability of friends. There's for me there's you start building a group of friends and it's easy to make friends and to to, to gain a sense of a feeling popular like you have all these friends now that sometimes you, you couldn't make in the outside world, you know, outside of these websites. So it's all kind of there. It's instantaneous, um, the flick of a switch. And that's, I think, I'm noticing this influx on Twitter these days. Over YouTube, it seems like more people are Twittering because it's even more instantaneous. Um, so I wonder where this video chatting, you know, possibly Stickham is about as interactive as it can get. Um, but yeah, there's definitely an addictive agent to it. There's an addictive ego part of it, I'll admit. I, I like having people see my work and my videos and stuff I take pride in. Part of me likes making friends. There's an ego part of that where you can reach out and, and meet people, like-minded people. Um, so yeah, there's a danger of it. And, and I always try to balance it out with my social life outside of the internet um, and with my family and my job and things like that and I would just caution all of you um, keep keep your priorities intact you know realize that when you close the laptop when you turn off the, the computer switch there is life outside of the internet but yet as a tool as a way of bringing people together and bringing people into our lives you know into my living room um, it's absolutely fantastic. Is it evolution to, to ask, you know, to answer Felix's initial question? Very much so. I think we're evolving. You know, this is a modern form of pen pals. It's a modern form of uh, Morse code and modern form of communication, you know, smoke signals, all that. Um, is it evolution? Definitely. Are we pioneers in this? I think so. I think, you know, people at work are just beginning to see about see this vlogging thing, and you know, here we are, a lot of us doing this for two years now. Um, this will catch on. This will be much bigger. Will something like Twitter? I don't know. Um, but there is an addictive agent, and I just urge everybody, and including myself, to watch out uh, for how easy it is to be satiated by the attention and by the adoration and things like that too. So that's all, just some random thoughts. I really, I felt touched by the death of the world's oldest blogger. Um, look up the story, it's just, it, it'll come up. And it seemed to go hand in hand with what Felix was talking about in his video. Um, so stop by Felix's channel, he's a very cool YouTuber. Um, 
and subscribe and check them out. And that's all for now. Talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Bye.